Hi guys, uh, happy Back to the Future Day. Uh, again, it's October 21st, 2015. Oh man, what a day to be alive. Um, as you can see here, I got the Neo Lev Back to the Future uh, Part 2 uh, miniature hoverboards with 3 inch track base and with 6 inch track base. Um, they have a bigger, they have a few bigger versions. Uh, and like I mentioned in my very first video I did with the um, 30th anniversary unboxing, um, there's also um, a signature with four signatures. I think it has Bob Gale, Ro uh, Robert Zemeckis, and Christopher Lloyd, and Michael J. Fox, all their signatures on it. And it comes with it comes a little bit bigger, so you can put two hoverboards on each side. And uh, it even comes with the, the Pitbull. I think the rest of the other three hoverboards that were in the movie that Biff's gang had. Um, so I've been wanting to open these bad boys up for a while. I got these back in September. Um, I pre-ordered them probably back in August, if I can remember correctly. Or maybe I pre-ordered them back in July. I had to pay for them in August, and then I got them in July, or September. So um, when I first saw these things, I was like, heck yeah. I didn't know that they had, they had done it before prior to that. On the Back to the Future, the BTTF.com uh, um, website, and they did the, the special one I was just talking about. And then I found out, and then if someone was selling the, the, the extra hoverboards for sale for like 24 bucks, I was like, oh man, I could have got that. But I was like, nah, because I wouldn't want to open them. I'd be like, ah, oh, they're too, they're just too many. So, yeah. So, this is what I got. So, alrighty, let's open up the first one. I've been wanting to open these things up forever now. Um, it just talks about stuff, cautions, and don't put it next to anything that's like a hard drive. It may break. We'll get this one out. We'll get this one out real quick. Don't put it next to your TV either. You might destroy it. We'll just leave all the information in there. Put that all in here. So. I'll put that right there real quick. Get rid of this. It's just trash now. Oh, see, they're sticking together. That's not good. Oh, okay, there's the hoverboard. I was wondering where the hoverboard was. That there. Get rid of the trash again. Okay, so we'll move. We'll move these boxes out of the way. All right, so here you have the hoverboard. You can see where they would put they would put the Mattel logos. I'm glad they kept that touch there, because uh, in case you wanted to, if you find little stickers to put on there. It's all one sticker, and then there's a big old magnet on the bottom. It's like a rubbery texture. It might be rubbery, or it might be a styrofoam, or a foamy kind of texture. Um, like I mentioned before, I kind of want to compare these boards with each other, so, oops. Oh. I am breaking stuff already. Not really. Just Legos. All right, we'll move the Lego part right here. So let's see if we can focus this in. So yeah, a little more accurate on this one compared to the Lego version. So. 
there's that. Alrighty, let's zoom out real quick. Focus it. Alright. So it says here, Back to the Future 2. Uh, miniature hoverboard, Marty McFly. It says here, Fragile, do not bend. Okay, so now is what I was doing. It was made in the USA, so that's good to know. It was made in the USA. Support our jobs here. All right, let's see if I can get this. I'll keep this because it's Back to the Future. Oh, well. So that's basically all it does is that. That's cool. I know. I know this was some people when they when they had these hover these uh neo lev hoverboards uh, things that they didn't move. I thought you probably had to like slant them or something, but that'd be kind of stupid. So that's pretty cool. Let's get the other one out real quick. Put this back in the box. Open up the other one. I just tore it. It's cool for like if you know for the adult person, you know the adult collectors out there. Um, especially if you work in like an office or something, or you're like a teacher or something, and you just want to see something cool and fun to remind you of your childhood a little bit. So it looks like the, the longer version has a little bit more oomph to it compared to the smaller version. So the three inches are right, the six inches is a little bit better. So um Yeah. So if you look at it, that's what it looks like right there at the bottom, or the side of it. Alright, I got fingerprints all over it. Great. Universal, Neolev, um, nothing on the side, just warning stuff on the bottom. Put that back on top. I didn't really show the box off too much, so let's, let me get the box real quick, and then I'll end the video. So yeah, all I really showed was that, the other one's the same, so I'm not going to show both of them. Was that this part here? Then you have the cool DeLorean going into time, just made in the USA. Then it shows you here actual size. That's pretty cool, as you can see the actual size. And then again, Back to the Future. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, you like this video. Again, like always, like, subscribe. Dislike, uh, comment, share. Um, again, let me know. Are you celebrating Back to the Future Day? If so, what are you doing? Are you guys going to make a uh, Uncle Joey cake um, for getting out of, the, out of the jail? I thought so. I've seen some people. Cause I have a, a, I'm on a Facebook page uh, that's called Back to the Future Forever. And I've seen this one guy's collection. He has like a, a ton of... Of Back to the Future memorabilia, and I'm jealous of him, but happy for him because it's, that shows, you know, he's dedicated to that movie. And he, if I had the money and the means of getting things more, like the Nike mags, like the one from the auction, I would do it in a heartbeat. Um, but I don't, so I could go broke and get them, but I don't want to do that. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching again. Have a wonderful 
Back to the Future Day. Bye.